Hi traders, this is Taylor from the tradinganalyst.com where you can enjoy all the member only features for free like the live chat room, educational videos, daily member only watch list, daily member only videos, and the real time option and stock alerts with your very own free trial where you're not only going to be making money from the alerts that you'll be getting, but you also have the opportunity to learn while you earn in the classroom setting of the live chat room where I'm in there all day focusing on trader education and making you a more profitable, consistent, and successful trader. It's a great opportunity, and I suggest that you take advantage of it by signing up on the free trial tab to gain instant access. All right, so let's get into these charts here. Uh, first one I'm going to go through is uh, Apple. This is the daily time frame. If you watched the last video I did on Apple, um, you know that I liked it for a bounce from this 100 level. Um, moving forward, we are getting very, very close uh, to some major resistance levels uh, on Apple. We've got um, uh, 108 as a resistance level from the highs of these candles, the lows of these candles, and a lot of trading that went on. Uh, in that range right here as well as right here so a lot of trading that went on between uh, 108 and about 114 and we're getting up to those levels right now we also have a downtrend line right here that matches up perfectly with that 108 to 112 resistance right there this is going to be a tough area for Apple to uh, to crack so uh, at the very least um, exercise some some caution as we make our way up to those levels okay I'm gonna move on to uh, the next chart that I have we've got a B B V we are currently above this downtrend line right now we closed over it on Friday's trading session and as you can see we did it on a, a big pop not a huge pop but a decent pop in volume it's the highest volume day uh, in the last month and a half or so okay so we did that and we held this uptrend line right there okay we bounced off the lows of it and we are back over this downtrend line looks like ABBV is set up for uh, higher prices as long as it can hold uh, above this uh, trend line right there all right, I'll move on to the next chart. AIG, we have a clear break of uh, resistance right here. As you can see, the highs of uh, last week, they were breached on Friday right there. And we broke over that with a nice little volume pop right there. So that's exactly what you want to see on a break above a trend line above a resistance line or below if you're looking to short uh, below a support line um, or below a uh, uptrend line um, to look for a signal to go uh, long or short okay you want to see volume confirming the move um, so we broke over that 53 resistance and now it's going to be uh, support as you can see it's an important level uh, the highs over here hit it. Uh, the we broke below it right here, and then we broke down, came back up here to retest it, got rejected, um, and then it was the low over here, right there. So we came down, and we saw a big, big bounce from that level. Okay, and the reason that uh, I'm pointing out all these instances is because of how many times uh, the stock has. Uh, touched this level okay so this is clearly an important level and being above it is certainly a, uh, a bullish uh, sign right there but it's got to hold it's got to hold above that 53 level we only have one close above it so I really want to see it close above it um, again okay uh, next I'm going to be covering a cam okay so what we have right here we've got a really tight range right here we've got a box trade a break out of this box in either direction would signal a big move top of the box is 56 bottom of the box is about uh, 53 yeah about 53 okay so about a three dollar range 
uh, right here that we are trading in really tight range and as you can see the Bollinger Bands are uh, really tight and so a break in either direction would see a pretty big move uh, moving forward so uh, the trend has been up for uh, a couple of weeks or about uh, a month now so um, most likely a continuation pattern to the upside but again uh, you know best to wait for the signal to see if uh, it ends up being to the upside could very well be to uh, the downside all right I'm gonna cover one more chart here AMBA we've got a downtrend line from the highs in July up here okay rejection here rejection here and they are working on a uptrend line right here we've only got one two touches right there um, so not the strongest uptrend line but uh, it's a nice angle so I have it drawn uh, right there so a break below that trend line is not going to give me uh, a, a short signal um, and I'm not going to be too worried about it but again uh, it is a nice angle, so I have it drawn. So what you're going to be looking for is a break over this downtrend line. But again, if it does break over that downtrend line, we're going to be coming up to some nasty, nasty resistance uh, up here at about uh, 50. Okay. As you can see, this is the biggest volume by price bar. We've got a lot of volume traded um, in this range right here. And as you can see, that was the level that it broke below right here and signaled a pretty big drop from about uh, 50 to about 33 down there okay so uh, this 50 level is going to be a big big level and a uh, tough cookie to crack so if it breaks over this downtrend line we still got to deal with uh, this 50 to to about 55 level resistance okay thank you guys for stopping by I really appreciate it if you're not already a member, you can go ahead and sign up on the free trial tab and take advantage of all the member-only features. And you can just sign up and gain instant access. We'll see you over there.